Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'd like to talk about selvage denim and my thoughts about it and also compare it to non selvage denim. It just so happens that I have on the left a pair of Levi's 514 straight slim fit jeans uh, in selvage and on the right is the same pair or same model of Levi's 514 in a non selvage version. So first of all, let's talk about what is selvage. Well, selvage is a way of manufacturing denim which is more expensive and higher quality than non selvage denim. The selvage denim, without going into all of the technical details about it, because I don't know, you know all of the technical details in terms of how they um, make it on the loom and all that kind of stuff, but I can tell you that selvage denim is of a higher quality denim, will generally last longer, and also will not fray as easily compared to non selvage denim. In terms of fashion these days, selvage denim has got a bit of a cachet and it's sort of highly sought after. And in recent years, Levi's has been reintroducing the old model of 501 jeans from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s made on much of the same equipment that they used to make the jeans on way back then in selvage denim. However, the throwback Levi's 501 jeans are very expensive. They tend to be about $250 a pair. So while you can get them, uh, they do tend to be pretty expensive and oftentimes, you know, quite cost prohibitive. Although they are uh, very cool and retro and uh, if you like the fit of a certain model or year of Levi's 501 jeans, um, that might be a very good choice. You may or may not know this, but over the years, the Levi's 501 jean has actually changed fit. And so, you know, they're not always the same depending on the year of release. Some years was more of a slim fit, and then uh, after certain years, they went to a more relaxed fit. And also, some of the uh, features on the jeans, and whether it be pockets and stitching and stuff like that, has changed. So, Levi's is doing a pretty good thing in terms of bringing those back to consumers. And, you know, the consumer can have a choice between the different look or a different gene that they might like and want to buy. Anyway, my favorite gene in terms of Levi's is the 514, which is what you see here. And uh, it just so happens that the Levi's 514 model in selvage is much cheaper than some of those old throwback 501 models. Uh, it, this Levi's selvage gene retails for about $120 or so, $115, $120. And then the non selvage version of the Levi's 514 sells for only about maybe $40 or $50. So, one way that you can tell uh, a selvage jean versus a non selvage jean is the red stitch, which is on the inside. It may be a little bit hard to see in this video, but um, in this white area here, it's actually a red stitching. And that's sort of how you can tell uh, that it's a selvage denim. Whereas, contrast that to these, it doesn't have that at all. Also, the feel of it is generally definitely of a higher quality. When comparing the two jeans, though, they're very similar in terms of look. And I had the non selvage version for quite a long time on these on the right. And a lot of times people thought they were selvage just because they're in a rigid sort of raw wash. And, uh, you know, so if you uh, can't find the selvage jeans or you don't want to spend the money, and you have a similar jean in a non selvage denim that's got a very similar look and wash to it, you might want to go ahead and pick up the non selvage version to save yourself some money. That being said, if you have the selvage jean available to you and you can get a good deal on it, I would recommend picking up the selvage because it's number one, it's got uh, a much higher quality denim and should last you a lot longer. And number two, of course, fashion, in fashion wise, it has that sort of cachet to it especially when you roll up the cuffs here and everyone sees, oh, look, yeah, he's got selvage jeans, you know, that's cool, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, in general, you know, both jeans are quite nice, and I think both of them will last you quite a long time. However, the selvage jeans will wear better and definitely last longer and are just higher quality and feel a lot nicer, even though the jeans are pretty much the same cut and they look pretty much the same. If you are trying them on, don't be tempted to size up. When you try on your size in the waist, they're going to feel very tight at first, but after a few days of wearing them, they will loosen up in the waist and then feel pretty normal. And after you wash them uh, the first time or a couple times, 
they will even get looser in the waist. So I made the mistake on this pair on the right when I first got this pair of actually sizing up because when I was trying them on in the store, they felt really tight in my size. So I got a size larger. Turns out after about a year or so of owning these, they've stretched out uh, in the waist uh, to the point where, uh, you know, this is a 32, I usually wear a 31. So when I first bought them, they felt fine. But now they've stretched out to the point where they're so loose that I can't wear them without a belt, uh, you know, without them, you know, like totally slipping down and stuff. So that was sort of a mistake that I made with these. Uh, this pair on the left, the Selvage pair is a 31 and they fit perfectly fine. Although when I was trying them on, they were very, very tight. But after, like I said, a day or two, they uh, really loosened up and feel a lot better. I haven't washed them yet or anything like that. And also speaking of washing these, uh, if, you, if you get a pair of jeans, whether it be selvage or not, especially if they're a dark raw wash like this, you want to kind of preserve uh, you know, the darkness of them and the sort of crispiness and rawness of them for as long as you can. And so what I recommend you do is not wash them for as long as you can. And I think most people generally recommend that as well. Um, just wait till the very last possible minute. Uh, <laughs> you know, let them get dirty and all that kind of stuff. And then when you can't stand it anymore, then you can wash them. And when you do wash them, wash them inside out in cold water and on the delicate or hand wash cycle. In addition, I sort of recommend this stuff. It's uh, Wool Light Extra Dark Care, and it's supposed to keep dark clothes uh, darker and not fade them. And I've had pretty good luck with this stuff. Use it in moderation, don't use too much of it, uh, but it works pretty well in my opinion uh, for my dark denim. Now, of course, over the years, the color and the crispiness will fade a little bit, and that's to be expected, but you certainly want to prolong that dark wash and that rigid sort of look for as long as possible. And so that's really the way to do it. So anyway, this has just been my thoughts on selvage denim and sort of the differences between selvage and non-selvage denim. I really do highly recommend selvage denim. It really is a lot better than the equivalent non-selvage version. And if you can find selvage on sale or for a really good price, I certainly recommend buying it. While you may not want to pay full retail price on selvage denim, if you can find it on sale or at a good price, I would recommend jumping at the opportunity because I don't think you will regret it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them and I'll see you in my next video.